zero will take you down hello everyone i am abhijit and whether you are just starting your gmat preparation or you are already an advanced gmat test taker zero can still take you down you may know all the properties of zero and still get a question involving zero wrong how please watch this short video in full to really understand before we go any further please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll keep bringing you these critical videos let's get started with some properties of zero so zero is neither positive or negative zero is also neither prime nor composite zero is an integer it is also an even integer so zero two four six eight are all even zero is also a multiple of every number because any number multiplied by zero is zero zero also has infinitely many factors because any number can divide zero which means zero divided by any number is zero except zero itself the important operations with zero if you add or subtract zero to any number you get the number itself if you multiply zero with any number you get zero you cannot divide any number by zero especially in the context of gma any non-zero number raised to the power of zero is one and also zero to the power of zero is not defined and actually out of the scope of gmat so if you are getting a situation where you are getting zero to the power of zero there is either something wrong with the question or with your approach simple enough right so why is it so difficult to get a problem involving zero right that is because gmat finds way to hide the zero they would use your biases to actually make it difficult for you and here is the important thing the question involving zero is generally an easy question as long as you can spot the hidden zero if you don't you end up making a mistake or getting an easy question wrong which in general in the computer adaptive gmat test can be a big penalty i'll give you some examples on how zero is hidden and can use your biases mod x is always positive right that is a true statement well wrong mod of zero is actually zero and zero is neither positive nor negative similarly a square is always positive you would say or you would actually think when you're trying to solve a problem however zero square is actually zero similarly any even number to the power of an even number will be an even number you would imagine however any even number to the power of zero equals one which is a odd number and there are so many different tricks with zero especially hiding zero in the example that if you do not actually think about zero very very specifically you will get this wrong but how do you avoid but how do you avoid making this mistake with the number house framework the video to the number house framework i have posted in the past the link to that video is below and also up above this is abhijit signing off please do not forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you all the best with your prep